Welcome to Quiet in the Library. Hello all, and thank you for joining us for another episode of Quiet in the Library. I am your host, Reggie. Uh, We are actually in the last three chapters of the book, uh, Man with No Name. Uh, We're about to get into chapter, or part one, uh, which is Loose Ends right now. And then parts two and parts three will be after. So let's go ahead and get into it. I never forgive, and I never forget. I live a hard life, sister. A Dark Age Drifter. Wu Ming's bar wasn't always bustling, but it was this afternoon. Wu served anyone who could pay, but his clientele were often risen. Not because he provided a menu particularly suited to them, but because he had built his bar at the foot of a mountain called Fellwinter Peak. Fellwinter was a former warlord, The only one, it was said, to hold an entire mountain all by himself. He now rode with the Iron Lords, and Fellwinter Peak was staunchly the territory of the Iron Wolves. They had never given Wu permission to build the bar. He had never asked. Almost to a person, the patrons tonight were without ghosts. High winds and inhospitable cold meant those without ghosts rarely visited. But tonight, word had reached the general population that warlords were back in the region. No shots had been fired. Not yet. But it was enough to get every poor lightless wretch from miles around into Wu's bar, where chances were an iron lord or lady might be having a drink. Wu Ming didn't mind. The door swung open again and a trio of armored figures marched in from the cold. Welcome to the end of the world, greeted the serving frame. The warlord shouldered past the 5530 and headed straight for Wu Ming at the counter. What can I get you? Wu asked, giving a smile that ended at his eyes. The leading warlord, a hulking man, with shoulder guards larger than his brain, grunted, Food. Everything you have. Wu raised an eyebrow. Sure. That'll be... Well, a lot of glimmer. You don't understand, the giant man said, grabbing Wu by the lapels of his storm coat. Give us everything you have in the back, or we'll gut you. And eat you alive. Hey, Sidon, a woman's voice said. Pick on someone your own size. All eyes turned to the helmeted figure standing a few feet behind Sidon. She only came up to the giant man's sternum. Lady Ephrodite, Sidon muttered. Wu Ming's gaze went from the Iron Lady to the three warlords positioned around the bar amongst his lightless patrons. He cursed under his breath and braced to duck. Hey, thanks all for tuning in to another episode of Quiet in the Library. This one's a little short and sweet. Uh, We're going to be handling the uh, next two parts as a two-parter. So, actually, it'll be a one-parter, so it'll be a combined Uh, parts two and three, to finish up the book in the next episode. So thanks for listening. Always remember to stay quiet in the library.